What's going on guys, so in today's video, it's a quick recap video of how to composite Blender renders within DaVinci Resolve Infusion. So I'm going to be showing you how to basically recreate your beauty pass and compositing techniques for, for Fusion and DaVinci Resolve just for Blender renders. So without further ado, let's get started. This is a recap, so if you want a more in-depth tutorial, then click the link in the description and I'll walk you through step-by-step, -step, literally step-by-step -step of everything to do. So as this is a recap, I'm just going to fly through it. Essentially, Go to your effects library, go down to effects, find fusion composition, put it into your timeline, hover over it, go to the fusion tab. Perfect. Then what you're going to need to do is press shift and space bar. This brings up this menu, which is kind of like shift A for Blender. And then you need a loader node. So type in loader and press add. It's going to open up a window. You need to find the EXR file that you want. Double click. It's going to load the EXR file here. By default, you might see that it looks a little bit darker. That's because you need to set up your LUT and your view transform. So click this to select an enabled LUT. Click the drop down menu, click edit, adjust the color gamut to 2.2 and it should look correct. Do this exact same process for the right hand side viewer here. Okay, now I recommend you to go to the description and download the plugin from Reactor, which is split multi-layer EXR. This enables you to basically automate splitting your EXR files. If you do not want to do that, how you get your different render passes are as followed. You click onto your render pass, you click onto your EXR file, you go to the right hand side here, go down to channels, and you select each and every individual channel. So crypto matte, you can select denoising, diffuse color, glossy color, diffuse direct, indirect, copy EXR, you paste it, go back to this menu, and you can continue to do that process. But if you download the plugin, all you need to do is click onto your EXR, right click, go down to script, go down to split EXR. This window is going to pop up. We're going to press OK. And as you can see, it's automatically going to split our EXR for us. So we do not need to do that long process. Next, find all of your render passes and bring them down. So for me, I have glossy direct emission here, glossy indirect, combined is the beauty pass. I have that on the left hand side, diffuse color, glossy color, diffuse indirect environment and diffuse direct. So once you have the render passes that are necessary in order to rebuild your composite, what you then need to do is get a channel boolean node. So you can do that two ways. First way is to click onto your diffuse direct node and press control space bar and type in BOL. That searches for a channel boolean node and this is the node that you're going to be using. That's the first way. So click onto add and then drag the diffuse indirect into the channel boolean. Press two on the keyboard. You can see it on the right hand viewer. Then go to the right hand side to operation and change that to add. Then you can press control C and control V to paste that channel boolean, grab the diffuse color, put it into the new channel boolean, and change the operation to multiply. Then you can press two on your keyboard to see you now have your diffuse passes put back together. Next, you're gonna do the exact same thing for your glossy passes. So instead of clicking onto it and press control space bar, you can find the channel boolean node right here. So I'm gonna drag it down, I'm gonna plug in my glossy direct, plug in my glossy indirect, press two on the channel boolean node, change the operation to add, copy and paste the channel boolean node, put in the glossy color, press two to view the channel boolean, change the operation to multiply. Once that's done, you can see we've successfully rebuilt our glossy passes. Next, we need to grab one more channel boolean and we're gonna add the last channel boolean from the diffuse passes and the last one from the glossy passes. We're going to change the operation to add. We're going to press two on our keyboard on the channel boolean to see what it looks like. And you can see we successfully recreated our passes, our color passes for the diffuse and our glossy. Next, what we're going to need to do is copy and paste that final channel boolean. Grab the emission pass, plug that into that channel boolean, press two on the channel boolean to see it on the right hand viewer. Then press control C and control V to copy and paste the channel boolean one more time. Grab the environment pass and plug that into the channel boolean, press two to view it. And bang, you can see we've successfully put back together our beauty pass and our combined pass for our multi-layer EXR. So from here, if you wanted to, you can adjust all of the parameters. So I can go to emission, I can do control space bar, type in light rays, for example. This will add a light ray. I can change the position, increase the length if I wanted to, bring down the brightness, change the color. I can add a glow. And then we have a glowing image as we would have if we were in, say, for example, Blender doing compositing. We have all of the controls for compositing that we would have if we were in Blender, but with all of the flexibility and nodes that we have within DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. So again, you can play with this. And then once you finish, this is important. Since we use a view light in the beginning, 
our actual output seems to be quite dark. So to change that, the last node, the last channel boolean node, press control space bar, type in gamut, and then change the output space to simplified sRGB. Then press two to load it in. And you can see we now have the corrected color space. Now in order to export this, find the media out, connect your last node to the media out nodes, then go back to your edit page and done. You've now successfully composited and put back together your Blender EXR render passes. All right, guys, if you like this recap, let me know in the comments below. Don't subscribe. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Peace.